Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Welcome, welcome, welcome. So happy to see ya. Can I see ya? I think I can, not really, I can't see ya. Anyway, happy new year too. I hope your Christmas was amazing and your 2019 is looking really good. I know mine is, it was so much fun. Such a great time um, having the kids and grandkids here. Um, and uh, anyway, I have to apologize because we did this together and I had to, I left off, I actually finished it with you, believe it or not, I finished it with you, but my camera stopped recording. So, huh, I'm gonna do this over. Even though it's, even though we're in the next year, I'm gonna go ahead and do some of this with you. Just add a little bit more and just kind of do a craft with me on it. Just so, just so I cover my bases. Anyway, um, for those of you that just want a quick tutorial, please fast forward because I can chat and share and, and you know, some of you just don't like that and that is okay. It's okay to mute it, it's okay to fast forward. I'm just grateful that you're here and that you have subscribed and that you make those nice comments. Um, I just appreciate it a lot. So ha having said all of that, what we're gonna do is I have templates and I thought I would show you how I make my templates what this what what this card was for and I'm sure you remember was for putting um, gift cards in and gift cards are kind of boring they just don't have a whole lot of um, you know I mean you can you can buy some things but they're you know not as cute as if you make them right so here's the template for it and this is the one that I made for this gift card um, and so it just ties like this and we you can do it any way you want but this is just the way I did it and it pops out like that and then it's kind of cute it's kind of cutesy in you your only limitation is your imagination and don't get hung up on that just have some fun with it so this template is pretty much pretty much five and three eighths um, by five and three eighths and I'm not sure what that equates to on centimeters so I don't have a yeah here's one let me see what five and three eighths is on that it's gonna be oh I got a string on me five and one two three eighths is just about 13 and 13 and a half centimeters both ways 13 and a half ish ish so all we're gonna do is get this scoreboard I'm not going to trace this and cut it out I'm gonna go ahead and get the scoreboard and we're gonna score this together so the first thing we want to do on a blank piece this is just a file folder which is what I also have kind of stuck down here because my table is glass and it reflects so much that it gets in the way. So the first score we're gonna do at one and five eighths. So one, one, two, three, four, whoops, I lost count. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five eighths. Just go down like that. And then we wanna score again at four and an eighth. So here's four and here's an eighth, and we do that. And I'll explain why we did that. Um, shortly so um, and then at the top this is the top here we're gonna score this at one and a half so then it'll be one and a half tall so one and a half like that and then at the oh let's see so what would it be at the bottom it would be we would score this at five let's go five Okay, so there, now we have a grid. Let's get rid of that. And we know that this is going to be five and three eighths. Let's find my cutter. Five and three eighths long, as long as I don't knock a million things over. Oh, and I just bumped that. Of course I did, sorry. So this is five and, what did I say? Five and three eighths wide, five and three eighths long. So let's go five, three. Oh, that's three quarters. We meant five, one, two, three, right there, five and three eighths. 
and we'll just get rid of that. Now we don't need that. I'm gonna grab our scissors. And so these are our folds right here, like that. Oh, this is kind of yellow on yellow. Maybe I should put a different something underneath it. About white. Maybe that's not too bright. So there we go, fold and fold. So this is empty. We're going to take these out because this is our top flap. So we're going to cut these guys out. Right. Oops. Wow. Right there. It's freezing in here. My, I'm a little chilly. Um, we had a little bit of rain and we had a little bit of snow. Not a whole lot, but it's cold. It's cold. It's cold. So I'm a little, a little shaky cold in here. So I cut those out. Don't worry if it's not perfect. I'll cut this out right here and this out right here because we don't need that. Easy peasy. Easy, easy peasy. And one thing I like to do, I'll show you, I'll show you couple of things I like to do. I'm already starting to stack up a bunch of stuff in your way. As I get these templates out, and remember we talked about these. These are just made from a plastic notebook divider and each a half inch, a quarter inch, um, three quarters of an inch, and an inch. So they're all different, but they work pretty well for this. So what I'm going to do is just line that up right there. I think do I want that? No, I don't think I want a one inch. Let's go with three quarters. Yeah, yeah, I think that'll work. Let's try it. I think I did this one at one inch. Yeah, yeah. better do it at one inch. Stay consistent, a little bit consistent. And all you do is line it up and match that angle. Line it up on the other side. Follow that angle. Try and keep it. Try and keep it in frame and do it. And just snip that off right there, and then you have your top, your top guy. Now you can also use this for your bottom one. Oh, come on, cooperate, guys, cooperate, and just line that up. Nip it off. Line that up, and nip it off and it's done. Now, one thing I like to do is trim this bit in just a little bit, just a little bit of an angle in there. Not much, just a little bit, kind of like when you're doing corners on um, on your journals, just so they don't, it doesn't bind up. Or even when you're making your pockets, just a little bit. You don't want much because this is gonna fold over let me get rid of this. There we go. So when, so we had this side was a little bit longer than this side, and I'll explain that. But when this folds over, it's not going to cover a ton, but it's going to cover enough. So anyway, so this will we'll flip, fold this side in first, and then this side in second, and see why that is longer so that we'll have something to glue to here. And then that's going to go up like that. And it covers up anything that's even slightly imperfect at the bottom. Then the top's going to fold over just like that. Just like that. And that's our template. Now, you can do it the other way if you want it to look even. So it's kind of sort of in the middle. See that? Or other way. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. You just want to make sure you have enough. That might be a little, little bit better. Anyway, so where was I going to go with that? We have all of that done. It's that easy. That simple. This one I made a little bit shorter at the top, but I kind of like the longer. So you can, again, you can do it however you want, but that's the basics. Simple, simple. Oh, for the little cut, that's what it is. The cutout right here. Depending on what you want, just grab a circle object instead of trying to get your punch tucked in here and tuck that and cut that, cut this 
out. Just grab something round, like I have a little, yeah, this is just a spool of, spool of um, tape. And I will find a pencil and line that up. Oh gosh, my hair didn't get in the way. Line that up like that. And then all you have to do is cut it out and it will give you that. And you could make this this small, you know, you don't have to make it that deep, but um, it's entirely up to you. But that's kind of the way to do that. Just like that. Go to this side and do the same thing. Ah, wait a minute. Is that line up right? Yeah. Actually, I'm not loving that. Got it down a little bit. So I'm going to bring it back. About like because this isn't round, this isn't really round. There we go, like that. Sorry about that. Race that off of there, and there you go. Done and done. So now, when you're ready to, um. You pick up your scrapbook paper and you're ready to make one. Let's make one. Let's just make one. I don't want this scrapbook paper, I think. Oh, shoot. Sorry, I'm so sorry. I can't get used to this new location. Oh man, I hope I didn't make you completely dizzy. Oh, this one's a little bit short. See, it won't cover my flap, but we can fix that by using another bit of scrap paper, scrap, scrapbook paper. And I think that will be wide enough, it will. So we're gonna go with it. So I'm gonna trace this around. Makes it super fast. Just like that. And another one, just like that. Easy peasy. And then I'm gonna fold my flap down and go across like that. And then what I will do is cut it out of, cut my top flap out of this piece. And I wanna go just a little bit, a little, little bit higher so I can glue, have space to glue it. I'm gonna do this and up like that. And then I'll show you when I cut it out what it's going to look like. Whoops. My hand's in the way, huh? Okay, so we're going to bring this all the way down to here and cut it off about, about, if I may rule it so, so you don't see how chintzy. There we go, like that. Get into that green line. It's already a fold on this one. Okay, and all we're gonna do, so, you know, if you just have a few little bits of scrap paper left, it's a great way to be able to piece together and make it work for you without, oops, I got that kind of, kind of crooked-ish. All right, so where did I want to go? I wanted to go to right there. Okay, let's cut that piece out. Kind of boring just watching somebody cut something out. But I wanted, I, I just wanted to be able to show you how easy it is if you have a template, especially if you're making a lot. Um, for example, these will be really fun to do these cards for Christmas or to just add in a journal and then um, have these um, little gift card holders to hold a, some a message or a poem or a, just a random bit of ephemera. Something kind of fun. Because Valentine's Day is right around the corner, huh? There we go. So, let me, um, let me score it so you can see how we scored it. 
So right there, remember we did it at one and five eighths. Was it one and five eighths? Yeah. Um, right there. And then we did it at, what are we getting at? One and a quarter. Just right, didn't line up perfectly, but it's close, close enough. And then this one was at, we do three, two, three, eight, there. Okay, folds in like that, that folds in like that. This is kind of crooked because I did it really quick, but it doesn't matter because you won't see it. You just won't see it, but I should have done that better. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Right there. Okay, it's really hard to see. There we go. Hard to see when I'm far away. We'll fold that up. Like that. And then with this piece, we're just going to glue it on the back. Put a little bit of glue on here. <clears throat> Can you see that? Just like that. Just like that. And then we'll just go over like that. See? Kind of cute, huh? Maybe. Maybe it's not, but there we go. See? So that little bit on the back. I guess I have some pencil marks on there, too. And then, before we glue it together and decorate it, I'll just to distress, oops, that still has some pencil mark on it right there. Distress it a bit. Gosh, I, I feel all fumble-fingered from not being in here for almost, almost two weeks. Wow, wow. It was so fun though, oh my gosh. We worked hard, we played hard, we we ate a lot, had, eh, we didn't drink a lot. Um, drink a little bit, a little, few little cocktails here and there, but mostly it was just fun. The kids, when we, we worked over at the property one day and Friends brought over quads, and the kids got a little dirt bike for Christmas, and they rode their dirt dirt bike. Oh, I just bumped it again. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Rode their dirt bike, and we had big bonfires, and oh gosh, it was just it was just super fun. Everything we did was fun. So I'm just put a little bit of glue there that right there a little bit of glue right here and I'm just using Fabri-Tac just because it's quick and easy it doesn't take much and it dries very quickly so on this um, tab you can easily like round this off um, or leave it the same square it off even further which I think I might so this has lines on it, so that's pretty easy. I think I might with my bigger scissors. Do that. And there. They're there. And then I'm gonna punch a hole in it. My hole punch here. And I'm gonna guesstimate at center because this is just for nothing on this is perfect because we're just doing it just as a how-to here and that works 
So then I can put a brad in it. Let's just pick out one of the silvery ones. Oh gosh, I am so sorry. This is really gonna be a problem. I don't know where else to put this where I won't be bumping into it. Oh no. Oh. I should have done a larger hole for that Brad. Brad's a little big. Yeah, it was great. Great time. I already miss the kids already a lot. So remember, you want this round part, the kind of dome shape, to go... It works to flatten that out. When you push the dome on there, it flattens and spreads that out. So the, you put it on. Can you see that? I don't think you can. Here, I'll do it like this maybe. So, you'll see that? There's a top part right there. And this is a little bit awkward, but I'm going to go ahead and put that on there like that. And then squish. Use your mighty muscles, see? And then it flattened that out right there. And there you go. I'm not loving the way I did this, but it's okay. It's all right, because we can decorate it. So then um, to kind of tie it up, see I did the, oh well, it doesn't matter. Make sure that's nice and clear there. Perfect pocket. And there we go, there we go. So on the front, let's do something fun there. Let's find out of my scraps here. Put a scrap right here. So how about if we do, what do you think of that? Doing a little lace right there. Let's do that. I don't know about you, but I get really messy when I'm doing this stuff. Really messy stuff goes everywhere. Where am I? Here we go. Right there. A little bit of that on there. Yeah, so, 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 so sad that the kids had to go back. Miss them. I missed them the minute they drove out of the driveway. Oh, it's just ne there's just never enough time. Never, never. I never want them to leave. I want them to live right next door. <clears throat> but we got to see lots of friends and lots of family. My brother and sister-in-law, one of my brothers and sister-in-laws, came down from up. No, they're only a couple hours away, so they came down. Sorry for about a that. Bit. My phone rang. Hopefully it won't shut off again. <laughs> anyway, my brother and sister-in-law came down um, from Eugene, and that was really special, really fun. We got to have spend a whole day together, and um, they brought their dog, and the dogs got to run and play in the field, and let's see, what about a tie? How about a tie back here? And I think for this one, let's cut off a little bit of this. It's really wide, so that like that and then let's tear it because we don't need that much it's just a little piece of sari silk and you could use any kind of ribbon or um, twine or a little bit of yarn whatever you like and all I'm gonna do here is let's see I think I want it about right there so I'm gonna get a brad, put a little dollop of glue and then a brad. Let's see if I can find a brad, some colored brads. Maybe a green one. We'll just go wild. We'll go wild and crazy with a little green brad or a little red brad. I think the red's a little too, no, nope, red's not bad. Green isn't bad either. I have some silver ones and things like that, but let's see what we like here. I think the green's kind of cool. Let's just, just use the green. So I'm just gonna poke a hole through that. 
punch it through there. Can you see that? Am I out of frame? Just punch that brad through there. I'm gonna pick a spot there, a little poker thing. And I'll just put this through the, so I don't poke. So I don't poke through the whole thing. Just pick, let's see, right, oh, right there, right there. Right there. Gives me a start for this. Oh, come on. Don't give me a hard time now. Let me get my wider polka. Oh. That's not it. Where is it? Let's make it a little bit bigger. It's not really very wide. Oh, my bigger one is. There, through there. I don't know if you can see this. Flatten that out. So, there you go. I just poked it through and it's flat. I don't know. I don't know if can you see that? There. Nope, you really probably can't. No. Darn. Okay, well, I'm just going to put a little bit of washi tape on that the back of that brad. I didn't glue it in, so that's okay. Just get a little bit, just so nothing catches on it. I'm just gonna use a small piece. And hmm, I don't know how to do this so you can see. I can get it straight. There we go. So all I did was put a little washi tape on that. And then this, spin this around like that. Let's put the gift card in there just for, so you can see it. And then through here with, uh, I just use a crochet hook, which I think you've seen me use before. And then pull that right through there. Get back over there. I guess I should put my little pokey thing away so I don't poke myself. And tie that like that. And that's right there, which I like that. I like the way that turned out. And then on the front of it, on this one, I just cut a little image out. Um. Let me see what image I want. I don't know if you remember before, but I had some things cut out of that. Um, oh, this, let's see, what was this called? Simply Swank? Oh, that's kind of, it's kind of cute. Let's use that one. We don't, you know, we can put words on here. We can put Merry Christmas. We can do even something like this, Joy at Christmas. That might be kind of cute too. Or what else do I have over here? There's even just a, ta a Merry Christmas. That's kind of cute too. Hmm. <laughs> or do I have any words left? I might have a few words. Left. Sorry, digging through my digging through my um, word stash. Mm, way in a manger. Don't really have nice images for that. What do you think? Holy Night. That might be kind of Let's do Holy Night. Let's do that. 
I had already torn these. So they're all ready. Okay, and what I do with that? Oh, here it is. Maybe, yep, like that. So I'm gonna distress this. Tear a little bit more off. And a little bit more there. And just give it a little, just give it a little. So what did you do? Did you go sledding and skiing? Or are you still, gosh, we're getting enough snow that in the mountains now after Christmas that there's going to be lots of skiing and sledding going on. I think I want to put something behind that. What do you think? Here's some scrap laces. I wonder what that would be like. Hmm, let me cut it out and see. Um, yeah, so... It was great. Great having the time off. But oh yeah, so now lots of skiing and sledding and snow. Thank goodness the kids got back over the mountain before the storm really hit. We had some really big winds. I think they recorded at the top around Mount Shasta, Shasta City, 72 mile an hour winds. Holy moly, that's insane. That is insaneness. So what about that? Yeah, that's okay. Maybe a little, little of this. We'll perk it up a bit. A little bit of that. I really like this. We'll do that on, uh, maybe we'll do a solo bag next. Let's see. Kind of swirl it around there. I know it's all so fuzzy, so fuzzy wuzzy, but I like the dimension it gives it. I like that, I like it. There, yeah, let's do that. So, I'm gonna put a little bit of this fabric tack on here. Where are my oh, here they are. Tweezers. I'm gonna stop. It doesn't take me about a minute to get things all messed up in the way and cluttered up. Put that back where it belongs. Put this back over with the thing. With the scoreboard. There we go. Yeah, crazy winds. We didn't get that bad here. Down lower, it didn't happen, thank goodness, because we are, um, I think I've talked about the property, but we're trying to clear it. Nothing has been done on the property that we purchased in, no, we closed on it in just the, the very end of November. And it's, it's adjacent to our property, um, but it's seven acres of woods. We have a, three beautiful ponds on it. Um, and it's all fenced. It has, um, I think it's a 10 foot fence. Um, so it's great. It's great for, to have the dogs run over there. Kind of call it our dog park. And that's where the kids rode their motorcycles. We're doing trails and cleaning. Nothing is, like I say, nothing has been done on this property for like 40 years. So it's very overgrown with blackberries and lots of dead pine trees and even madrone, dead madrones. Um, oh gosh, just awful, <laughs> just awful. So much, just a lot of work, but we're really enjoying it. Really, really enjoying it. Anyway, and one of our friends brought over um, their quad and drug a lot of the big logs um, that's going to take a minute to dry and I'm trying to decide whether I want this over the top or just underneath or do I want it over here or do I let's, or maybe I don't want it at all maybe I just want to do that let's give that a minute we'll set that aside and think about it right there 
anyway, so lots of work to do over there. Lots, seven, almost seven acres of, of work. Tall grass and blackberries. And here's a tag. As I had set this aside to go in this gift card holder. And all I did was I made a larger tag. I think I showed you before that I have a small tag, smallish tag punch. I'm getting it. I'm getting it. This one, it's um, two and eleven sixteenths or six and uh, point eight three centimeters, and it cuts a small tag. It cuts this size, and I love that size. But with these to having the deeper pockets, I wanted one a little bit deeper. And all I did was lay this on, trace around the top of it, and just kept it longer. So then this can go, this can go on here and add one in the, in the deeper pocket along with this one. So there, yeah, that's starting to dry. I like to put a, I have this funny little weight thing. It's an old knob <laughs> and it's heavy. There, I put that on there, let that dry. So this, I think I'll just use um, glue stick glue stick on here and I'm losing my train of thought today it's been so long I can't think straight oh come on I can't think straight where my thoughts were going they're all over the place Ooh, what was your favorite food over the holidays what was your favorite treat oh I didn't distress that see see how I am favorite treat over the holidays hmm we, did, we even did s'mores. We had such a big bonfire that we did s'mores over at, over at the property. And we roasted hot dogs. The kids enjoyed that. So um, it was so cold, though, we couldn't stay for very long. Um, we had been working all day and had a really, really big burn pile. And it was toasty warm if you were right by the fire. That was New Year's. Actually, that was New Year's Eve. But it just got too cold. So we ended up coming home, coming back to the house, which was kind of nice having, being able to be, I'm gonna move that up just a, a little bit because this takes up more room. Um, yeah, so we ended up coming back to the house and um, playing card games. And, but it was, it was so fun. So I think that, we um we did some mores and I think that was kind of one of my favorite things to do because um, my youngest grandson, he is, what is he? He's going to be six. He's going to be six in February. Um, but he was, he was the uh, s'more maker. He made lots of s'mores and that was so fun. He did the marshmallows anyway, and he had a blast doing marshmallows. So then I think I'll just put this little bit of sorry silk on here. I'll get one of my little fancy dancy crochet hooks. Gosh, glue all over my hands. Pull that through there, like that. And I think maybe I want to tie it. So pull it all the way through and tie it like that. There, there we go. Ring the bells. There, that turned out pretty cute. Oh, and I had put some music paper on the back of it. So then that can go in there. Nice tall one and take the shorty one out. And put the short one up there. Put that in there. And if we were gonna use this one, I do need to put another gift tag in this one. This still needs to go out to my, uh, my niece and her husband and little boys. So see that kind of gave it a little bit of punch but it's not quite dry give it a little bit of a lift there hold it down there lifted it up a little bit dimension that's the word I wanted a little bit of dimension there we go and then this one can go up here let's see if it's too tall though not bad oh I didn't tie the back let's tie the back where did my Oh, for the love of all that's holy. Can't seem to get that going. 
through there. Sometimes I'll pull, this is ready, pull both of them through and just tie a bow. Let's do that just because we can. I have glue all over my fingers as usual. Set it down. Just like I can't seem to think and talk and do all that at the same time today. Well, there we go. There it is. Let's try that. There we go. Yeah, that worked. And it should still fit in the envelope, all right? Let's see. Have one over here. Maybe it will, maybe it won't. Maybe, maybe. Hmm. This is not the one I want. Will it fit? Yep, it should slide in there, okay. I have others. I have others. Just kind of hanging up on stuff a little bit. That's on, hanging up on the back. No, that's gonna, it'll be too tight. So I'll move this down further. Put it in the middle one, right there. And put Joy at Christmas in the back one. Why does it wanna give me a little bit of a trouble there okay so remember there's the front there's the back and don't forget to write a little note inside that's what I did what I did with the ones that I sent out already was I just used um, a bit of scrapbook paper and lined the back of it um, with some tea dye paper and just and wrote a note on it and um, put it in so that's what I would have done with what I'll do with this one and just stick it maybe right in front so when they pull it out and read it then they'll know so there you go that's that and i just pulled the gift card out of there which isn't quite glued on there boy this um craft with me is a bomb it's a bomb it's a bomb <laughs> did not turn out so well <laughs> didn't have enough glue actually that glue is getting a little bit thin because it was so so thick that i thinned it out and now I think it's a bit thin. But anyway, that will work. Put that actually in the envelope I want, which is not that one. But I will find it. It's in my stash. So that is that. That was pretty quick, pretty easy, huh? So, gosh, thanks for hanging out with me. I hope this one wasn't a complete disaster with my... Um, my brain not working very well today, but I'm going to get back in the groove after a couple of weeks. So I oh, dropped my tweezers. Thanks for hanging with me. So make some templates. Um, you know, it just makes it a little bit easier when you're making multiple things. Um, and just jot your measurements down and decide what you like. Um, here's a, that template, template for the longer tag. Um, your pockets, all different kinds of pockets. Um, and then I also make some tag templates. You know, if you don't have, you know, if you're just trying to do something quickly and you don't want to um, have to think too much, then, then they're done. And then you have it and you're ready to roll. Oh, I know what I was going to do. I was going to do, <laughs> I wonder how long we've been on here. I'm going to take a break and then we'll come back and do this one. This, uh, this one, because I did say I was going to do that. I'll do that. So I'll take a quick break, and I'll be back. Okay, I'm back from my little break. Sorry, I had to return a phone call, so you wouldn't have known had it not just, you know, sometimes it just cuts off, and then I have to start over again. Anyway, so here we go. We're going to do this um, cello bag, not 
Nothing, nothing complicated about it. Now, the cello is really, or glassine, I honestly, I don't even know if I'm saying it right, but it's, a, it's kind of lightweight on its own. So I find that if I add more things to it, little bits of scrapbook paper, you can use, um, you know, just really thin scrapbook paper like this one, or you can use a little thicker like this one. It's just entirely up to you what you want to do. But just to give it a little more beef so that, um, I don't know, I, it, I just like to. Like I say, <laughs> you can do whatever you want. You know, there's just no, no um, absolute with, um, with scrapbooking, I don't think. I, I mean, I'm new to it. Heck, I don't necessarily know what I'm doing, but I try. I'm trying, and I enjoy being with everybody. So what I'm going to do with this top flap for this um, gift card holder, so I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit of scrapbook paper on the top right at the fold so that it folds a little, little bit easier. Just a little bit. So um, let's see. We're just going to... Sorry, this is really shiny on this side, but I want it to be below the fold so that um, so that when I fold it, it um, has a little more oomph to it. So I'm just going to trace around it. Hard for me to see, but just give it a little bit right there. And then cut that out just like that. That I, I hope I'm in frame. I'm really having trouble with the new setup that I have going here. It's a uh, it's a little complicated to for me to try and not bump it. Okay, so that's not absolutely perfect, but it's gonna work. It's gonna work right there. And we could we could do. Um, we could make it perfect, but we're not going to worry about making it per perfect right now. So what I want is the fold, and I know not everyone has a a um, folder. You know the um, you know this this guy. Not everyone has. See, bumped it again. Not everyone has one of these. I mean, I didn't for ages, forever and ever. I didn't have one. So all you want to do, can you see this? Okay, um, it just kind of mark it where you want it. Just put a little mark on it right there. And then grab your ruler, any ruler. I'll grab this one just because. And then just kind of slide it under there where your mark is. And I probably should have marked it on both sides so I don't do it crooked, but that's okay. We, we'll, we'll do it crooked if we do it crooked. So then you just force it over like that and then it gives you your crease. So there you go. And you can use your bone folder if you have a bone folder. If you don't have a bone folder, see how crooked that is? <laughs> oh, well, um, you know, I would mark it if I were you, just just so that it's not crooked like that. But I will cover the backside up with something, and you will never know. So on this, I'm just going to trim this little jaggedy edge off a little bit. And then this bit right here, I'm going to trim off as well, because I don't want that there. So I'm just going to go around, oops, trim that off of there a little bit. How fun is this, watching me cut cut like that? And you know, you don't have to, I just, just wanted to. So then in here, I'm just gonna cut this down to where I want it on both ends, like that. And then kinda fold it out and trim this bit off right here. And I'm gonna use my bigger scissors so I don't whop it, make too much of a mess with it. So, there we go. Then, what I will do, as I um, clean up my little mess here, is I will glue that on there. Boy, that is really crooked, really, really crooked. I'll straighten it out a little bit. Let me think, what would be the best way to show you how to make this more better? More better. How about we could use our tape thing like we did before. I have some templates. No, that's too much. 
Mm, that's probably too much, too much of a roundness. Mm, not too much of a roundness. I'm gonna do it. So see that it is kind of round. I need something actually a little bit, a little bit bigger. What do I have? What do I have? Darn it! Should have been a little more organized. And I'm not. What about this? My dirty water. How about that? How about we use that? Like, how's that? Something like that. Let's see what happens. This this may not work. Might not work. That's the biggest thing I have right here. Sorry about my dirty water there. There. So then, I'll make it a little bit neater. <laughs> a little bit neater. There. Gotta be creative, right? Okay. I'm gonna straighten that up right there, too. There. Makes me happier. Makes me a little happier. I'm gonna glue it right on here, and then um, I will trim off the rest of that cello. This is, hopefully this works, because this foil doesn't like Fabri-Tac. Maybe, actually, I'm gonna use tacky glue if I can get it to work. Because the Fabri-Tac, for some reason, well, I know why, because it has acetone in it, and that one's not gonna work. Um, it, because it has the acetone in it, it melts the foil. So, we don't want it. We don't want that mess on, on our hands, too. And, of course, this one's going to be slow as molasses as well. There we go. Nope. Not so bad. But it shouldn't melt that foil and make a mess. I had forgotten about that. I had a hat. So, I'm going to smear it around a little bit. Just like that. Just like that. And then... Stick it on the fold, right where I want it. Put on my finger there. It's okay. It's a okie dokie. Now I'm just gonna trim that. It should be about where I want it. Yep. This paper's not going so well. Not so well. You hear the birds? Actually, the geese. <laughs> I forget. I forget about them. Don't hear them. Don't notice them. Probably like you do. Between my heater and the geese and the dogs wandering in and out. It's a lot of, a lot of background noise. So I'll just distress that a little. That cracked on me. But, oh well, oh well. It too will be covered. I promise. I promise it'll be okay. So it's not quite dry. Not quite. It's okay. And these um, have a the slit is not always for the bag isn't always um, glued down. So we'll put a little bit of glue right there, and I'm just going to use the stick glue, which I probably could have done instead of using the the um, tacky glue could have done that but I didn't okay let's move it around a little bit get it all flat got kind of wrinkly I have marks on there too whoops sorry 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 okay Put that off there so it's not distracting okay so we have that right there make that work out pretty good and then so we want to be able to get inside but I don't want to change that until I decorate the front and I think I think that will work like that for the front yes 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 so I want it to be in just a little bit so this I'm yeah not rocket science here I'm just gonna go with that right there Trim that off. I'll get your scissors. Like that. Distress this guy a little bit. You guys are so brave for hanging with me. I, being so, <laughs> I'm 
just so out of sync. It's funny. I, you know, I we stayed up late. We got up early. You know, it was just go 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 the whole time the kids were here. So it was it was just busy. I'm gonna go ahead and use the glue stick on this again. And um, so I didn't get a ton of sleep. And you know, having three littles around, it's uh, it's. Oh, I love them. I love them so stinking much. But it does. I mean, it's a game changer when you're not used to having littles around. You forget that they're always hungry. Always hungry. It doesn't matter if they ate five minutes ago. It just doesn't. Because they eat little tiny bits of food. Little bits. You know? And then they're hungry again. They only generally eat what they, you know, until they're full. And then they have stuff to do. They've got to move on. And, whoops, didn't get enough on the edges. And so you're always making meals and you're always cleaning up and or you're off doing something and you have to stop and feed them again. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Oh, gosh. But what fun. What fun. Oh, and we went to the movies, too. We went and saw the new, um, the new Mary Poppins. That was cute. Super cute. I enjoyed it a lot. And the kids, well, the kids, I enjoyed it because the kids did. And, um, yeah, that was really fun. I'm just going to trim that a little bit right there. Trim that a little bit right there. Yeah, so then that was all about popcorn and, and uh, pizza and fun. Okay, so here, what I want to do is I want to cut that out like we did very similar. Oh, I guess I should untie that on this one. So uh, again, I'll just use what I have. I have actually have stencils that have circles on them, but I didn't, I don't have them right here at my desk. So we'll just use a found object. So remember we did that. So I'll just use my funny little jar that I keep my Maj Paj in and I'm going to draw around it. See if I can get it. I got to stand up here so you know that I can Get it kind of levelish, kind of. No, I need a bigger diameter. Hmm. This one's bigger. I'll use that. There we go. And I will just draw around that like that. Much easier to trim when you have the scrapbook paper on. And then I'll use my little scissors, a little bit of ones, and trim that off of there. And I hope I'm staying where you can see. I don't have the whole, um, I don't have it down so that I know how high to hold things up. Um, so you can still see and they're still in frame. I don't really have that figured out. I'm trying, guys. I'm trying. I'm trying. Okay, well, that's not the best the best cutout there, is it? But it's okay. It's okay. It was hard cutting from the other angle. I'll try I'll try going back like this. So, this is a um how and what not to do. <laughs> craft with me how and what not to do so then I'm gonna bring that down that. and this guy down here a little bit they're pretty fragile there so then when you put the gift card in don't I have one here oh, I have this no nope. I have that one okay Julie what'd you do with it oh here it is here's one then you'll be able to see it be able to see it in there just like that okay now if you want we can do well you can do something on the back which I like to do something on the back you don't have to oh shoot that didn't work very well did it there we go darn it all darn it all <laughs> best laid intentions I cut that too big <laughs> okay well we're gonna do it like this then like this and then we'll just put a little piece of lace across there. Actually, what I was going to do is use this one, which I think will be pretty. <laughs> what 
bit of dark, I tell you. <laughs> oh, man, what do you think? Oh, that's kind of pretty, huh? That's kind of pretty. Let's do that. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, well. That's the way it goes. That's the way it goes. That's how we do things in the big city. <laughs> oh, gosh. Crack myself up, I tell you. Okay. I'll go ahead and glue that on. Glue it on. Glue it on before I go any further. <sighs> yeah. Like I said, this is like what not to do, right? It doesn't need a lot of glue. It doesn't. And it's going to want to ooze out a bit. So... You don't want a lot. So here we go. We'll trim it off after we're done. Just like that. Just like that. I like to just use a paper towel and kind of daub up some of the glue, give it a little pressure, and then daub up some, which, and then it doesn't show so much. Kind of did. I kind of showed a little bit. Not too bad. Nice thing about fabric tuck is you can kind of rub it off a little bit. It does rub off. Oops. Snag. Perfect. Perfectly fabulous. Perfectly fabulous. Yeah, so I recommend, if you like a musical, I recommend Mary Poppins. There we go. Look at that. So then this can go right there. What do you think? Kind of cuts his head off. Maybe we'll do something different there. Mm, no. Maybe. Maybe. Let me think about this for a second. What do you think? What do you think? If I put on the back, should we just put... Mm. We're not gonna tie this one down like we did here. We're not gonna do this. So I don't know that that really matters if we put him right down here like this. Mm. Don't love it though. Not the big of card in there. So my videos are what not to do, or at least think your think it out, think it out a little bit, think it a little bit more. Oh yeah, okay. So that won't work because of the gift card. Okay, that worked. Look at that. That worked. There we go. This is gonna go up here like this. That hangs down there like that, and it works. It works. It works. Sort of. Let's do that. Yep, let's do that. Take this gift card out of there. There we go. Let's see, what else? Should we put something behind him or behind this? What about? What about? Doing something like that. Maybe. It's kinda kinda okay-ish. Oh, it still gets its head. I don't like that. Still not right. I'd have to leave my scissors here. Let me see. Let me see right there. Improvise. We're improvising. Hmm. 
and I think it'll work. So I'm just going to put a little, little bit of glue here. I don't have to worry about the foil because it's on the other side now. And let's see if I can completely mess this up. the first little bit on there all the way around right like that what do you think too much maybe could be could be too much could be maybe yes maybe no we'll see Our little fuzzies down here. Foof them up a bit. And then we'll just trim these off on the inside. Whatever isn't sticking out. See? Like this. Oh, my dog's barking up. Can you hear my dog's barking? That's Probably a squirrel would be my guess. It's more than likely a squirrel. Okay. Add a little more glue to that. There we go. And let's see what that looks like. I kind of wish there was a, I would have had that a little bit better right there. A little bit further out. There we go. We will trim that off or we will cover it up one way or the other. It's kind of a disaster, isn't it? It's a disaster. I'm going to put some scrapbook paper on the back side to try and make it a little bit stronger. I think that's probably the problem. Anyway, there's no right or wrong. You know, I love I love it when I make a mistake because then, what the heck, you just fix it. Just fix it. What would that be like? Do I want music paper? I think I do want music paper. You just fix it. Kind of notorious for fixing things, huh? You messed it up, so there we go. Hi, Lola. Are you back? Come to see mom make a mistakes. Okay, pencil. Like that. Did you get the squirrel girl? This comes out just like, oh, no, I did not get the squirrel. Got away from me, as usual. Darn squirrels. We have a lot over on the property. Oh my goodness. I think because they haven't been disturbed for so long. They're so cute. They really give the dogs a run for their money. Really do. There we go like that they really really do like, yep just put a little glue stick on that really should have had this planned out better huh should have story of my life story of my life There we go, there we go, there we go. So, in here, I'm gonna trim these guys off right here. So 
they're not quite sticking out so much. That. Let's try and keep it more towards the bottom. I'm probably out of frame. Probably not even recording, right? <laughs> I wish. I wish I wasn't recording this disaster. There we go. Okay. Okay, okay. All right. Now, oops. Now, I guess I should put the lid back on that. Too funny. Too funny. Throw that in my little scrap bin. Throw this in the garbage so I don't have little fuzzies on everything. Okay, there we go. All right, now we can put that. Ah, I got fuzzies glued to my finger. Now we can put that guy on there, and it's fabulous. Put a little glue stick on this guy. And then we'll put something on the back. You know, you can do this any, honestly, I always say that. You can do it however you want. There's, again, there's just no right or wrongs. You just go with it. Just have some fun. It's handmade, made by you, made especially for someone. And how can you go wrong? You just can't. You can't go wrong. There's a little tiny bit of, there it is. There you go. So let's see, I wanna put something on the back just because I can see through that and I don't love it. I don't love being able to see through. So I will look, how about, how about this? I think maybe that would be good. Either that one, or is this just my scrap paper? How about that one, actually? Yeah, that one. I like that better. Let's just trim this guy down. Hi, Tycoon. Hi, buddy. Hello. You come in here and sniff on everything? Here I am. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I, uh, my daughter and grandchildren just got a new, well, not just, they've had him for a while, but we just got to meet him, um, a puppy. He is a um, French bulldog. Oh my goodness, he's so cute. He is such a sweet boy. And, you know, he's so little. And what, Tycoon is, well, all the, all my dogs are big. Tycoon's, what is he weighing? Oh, he's, you know, 80, 90 pounds. They were the best buddies ever. They loved each other so much. They wrestled and played, and they just um, had such a great time. And then Lola, our kind of, she's kind of the mama dog of them all. She adored him. She just, she kind of mothered him is what she did. Super cute. Super duper cute. Um, it's really sweet having him around. Oh, gosh, it was fun. I got stuff all over me. So cute. He's white. He's white and he has little brown, you know, random spots on him. And his name is Dirt. Dirt. Dirt the Frenchie. <laughs> Who names their dog Dirt? It actually fits him perfectly. Dirt the Frenchie. Oh, my goodness, he's so cute. I wish I had some pictures to show you. So cute, so fun. He did great playing with the big boys. There we go. There's that. Now, on the back, it's a little crooked, isn't it? It's because of the way I glued that on there. No one is going to notice that except me. I'm going to notice it. I'm going to notice it being crooked. But there you go. There it is. So, now that we have done this, I put our little, oh, that's right. I was going to do a spot right there, too. Let's see. Merry Christmas. Let's see, does that fit? Yes. It does. Do I still want to do that one, or do I want to do this one? The candles. Yeah, 
I think I want to do that one. This is just a, a piece of um, a, um, a gift tag. In, it was in scrapbook paper. It was just a little scrap, and I thought, well, it'd be kind of fun on the inside. Um, and then to write their names on right there. And it will fold with the rest of it. No, it won't. It'll just fold like that. Perfect. Okay, I bent it a little. I bent it a little tiny bit. So we'll glue that one on there. And then it'll give me a spot to write there. Right who this one is going to go to, go to for. I really, I'm not a big glue stick fan, but. Down just a little bit so I don't, whoops, so I don't bend it. Oh, it's sticking to my fingers. There we go. Just be all right right there. Go. Oh, well, where'd that gift tag go? Pop that in there. It's all right. It's not some of my best work, being, but there you go. There it is. We think. I don't think the lighting is very good here either. There. Nope. Not the best. Not the best. Is best. There we go. And then we could do something with the back too. Maybe. Maybe. But that kind of sort of works in the front. What should we do back here? What do you think? Can we really, really, like, really, really keep going with this? Yeah, like that. That'll fix my wonkiness. Gotta fix the wonkiness. A little bit of lace. Don't use fabric tack though so just put a very thin line on here and I think I'll put a little bit of that lace on the inside as well just below that too it's a little skiffy a little 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 not too much right there and then I'll trim off the excess when it's dry there I'm liking that a lot better a lot, lot better. Oops, I want it up there. Okay. Then on the back, what do we have here? We have. Nah, nah. We're gonna leave the back alone. That's it. But I'm gonna put a little bit of that lace right on the inside. Right there. strings on me. Stuff that in there. Down in there. Come on. Work with me. Work with me. There it goes. Whoops. No, not quite. No, don't don't stick yet. Don't stick yet. There we go. Almost. Almost have it. Come on. Be cooperative. There we go. Got a little bit of glue on that. I'll just rub that off. It's my reason, actually. Don't like that right there. Oh, and then I wanted, I still had a pencil mark here. Clean that up. And distress it a tiny bit. For you. There we go. It's officially, officially done. Not doing any more. That's it, that's it, that's it. I promise, that's it. Trim that, or trim that. 
there we go. This is not the gift card that goes in there though. So there it is. We did it. We did a couple of gift cards. We made a template. You watched me fumble around <laughs> so much. Ah, oh, thanks guys. You're amazing for hanging with me. Um, thank you so much. Thank you for all your sweet comments, for all your constructive criticism, for, um, and yeah, yeah, I love to hear what you have to say. I love it. And um, please forgive me for being so rattled and not together today. Um, but thanks for hanging with me. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel and you're brave enough to do so, please do. Give me a thumbs up or a hello or how are you and happy new year. And I'll get the glue off my fingers. God bless you abundantly, abundantly this year. And I will see you soon. Thanks. Bye.